Welcome back everyone. Today I'm here with this Hyundai Genesis Coupe and we're doing the drive shaft rubber isolator bushing deals because the one on this are all cracked up and gonna rip. So I'm gonna take you through step by step on how to fix it yourself. Pretty easy. So let's get to it. You're not going to be able to get to all of the bolts all the way around the drive shaft uh, with one position of the drive shaft. So what you're going to do is get break loose and take out all the bolts that you can get to. And then you're going to get in the car. You're going to put it in neutral. Okay. You're going to have to turn the key, push the brake, put it in neutral. You're going to go back under the car. You're going to spin it till you get to the other bolts that you need. You're going to put it back in park to lock the drive shaft so the transmission it won't spin obviously you're going to lock the drive shaft and then you're good to go to pry the drive shaft back and down and i'm going to show you right now which tool i used for that there's some things you need to understand when you're doing this because some bolts are reverse thread some bolts are normal thread and so i'm going to take you right now to the front and then we'll do the back that way you can't mix it up. You want them in the correct order you pulled them out. On here, the this is the front one, there's a the transmission. The ones that have the silver part facing the back are normal thread and the nuts on the transmission, that's normal righty tighty lefty loosey. The ones that face the back, right here where the black is facing the back, these are reverse threads, so it's lefty, tidy, righty, loosey on the ones where the silver's in the front, and this goes back. They also have an indent right here. See my fingers inside? So the ones that have the indent are reverse thread. The ones that are flat are normal thread. You can use a 19 millimeter wrench, 19 millimeter socket, or two 19 millimeter wrenches, whatever you got. And you're going to use the two 19s to take these apart. Here's the damage. You can see it's ripping right now. That's why we're changing these. The indents here, like just the same as on the front, the indents are righty loosey, lefty tighty, reverse thread. The straight ones are normal thread. So make sure the way that you're taking them out is the same exact way you put them in. You have these, they stick out, they stick out because they go inside of here. So what you're gonna do now is push this forward. See how you push it forward? And there's a little rod there. So you need to push this forward enough to get that rod off. So to get the drive shaft pried and to get these guys off, I used a, what is this, two foot? Two foot long pry bar. Uh, I think these are, yeah, Husky, this is from Home Depot. So you can go grab one if you don't. There's a set of three of them. Uh, so just buy the whole set of three. They're pretty cheap. I think they were like 25 bucks. So anyways, you're going to jam it up in here. You're going to pry it away. And then with your other hand, you're going to pull down on the drive shaft. And then it'll tilt the drive shaft down. You replace this with the new one. You lift it back up to where it's touching. Then you put the pry bar in and you torque on it and uh and push it up there's the rod make sure the rod goes into the center of the drive shaft there'll be a there'll be a little drive shaft vag here and then on the diff and on the transmission there'll be a drive shaft weenie and you stick the weenie in the vag and then uh just line everything back up once you got the old one out and the new one put back in then really all you do is the opposite steps you did to get the hardware in and out and you're done. I'm not going to show you guys how to put the bolts back in. Obviously, if you took it out, you know how to put it back in. Like I said, make sure that when you take out the bolts, you set them on the ground or wherever in an orientation where you make sure the lefty loosey and the lefty tidy ones are going the right way, either pointing the forward, pointing backwards, whatever they are. 
So you want them to go back the same as they were when you took them out. Hopefully this video saved you guys a bunch of money. And uh, hit like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Till next time, wrench on.